Questions for Coach Kugler? Yes. Coach, I know that you uh, relied on the running game. You said that's what you would stick with, and you did. And it seemed like you were able to run, but then when you got inside the 20s, Utah State kind of tightened the screws. Well, you know, uh, Utah State did a great job. My hat goes off to them. They're a very good team, a uh, very physical team. Coach Wells done a great job with those guys, and they compete. Uh, I think we kind of, when we get down to red zone, we shot our own selves in the foot with penalties and put us behind the eight ball. And, uh, Penalties, negative plays, drops, those type things that put you behind the chains. Uh, that's what we've been relying on, uh, doing well all year, and we didn't do a, a great job of it today. And then we laid one on the turf uh, that could have resulted, you know, it should have been 7-6 going in at half, and it wasn't. So uh, uh, we had our own undoing down there in the red zone, and we got to be better than that. Coach, uh, how costly was that, that holding penalty late like the first half? Well, several, several of our, our penalties were costly today, and, and uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in not being a highly penalized team, and uh, today uh, we were highly penalized, and, uh, you know, the score was the end result. Talk about that in the fourth quarter, Coach, after you guys score, not going for the onside kick. What was kind of the thought process behind that? Well, we had two timeouts left, and we wanted to pin them deep uh, and uh, use those timeouts to try to get better field position. We operate all the time in two-minute practice. Uh, we've, we've worked several drills. We felt we would have had about a minute and a half if we used our timeouts, and, uh, and, and had good field position to operate. Jamil does a good job of that. So uh, that was the thought process on that. We didn't want to give him a short field, and then we end up kicking it out of bounds and they get a short field anyway. So uh, we didn't do a very good job of stopping him on that last drive. So it was all a mute point anyways. Coach Kugler, ABC7. Talk, talk to me about what you told your players in the locker room after the game. What was your message to them after the season? Well, I told them uh, I'm extremely proud of them. Uh, you know, especially the senior class. This is a group of young men that uh, decided to stop the bleeding on eight straight losing seasons. And they made a commitment to doing that. And no matter what these young men do, uh, they'll always be winners. And uh, they're great kids, great character kids, and they've laid the foundation for the UTEP program for the future. And I couldn't be happier for those guys. And uh, I told the team that I love them. And I told the younger guys, come back ready to work because uh, we're going to build on this thing. Uh, Coach, uh, how important is, uh, was this season in trying to set up a foundation for the program in years to come? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Uh, how important was this season uh, to try to get a foundation laid out uh, for you to in, future, in the future? Well, it's, it, you know, I feel we laid the foundation, and again, I, I, I compliment the seniors for laying that foundation from a work ethic standpoint, from an accountability standpoint, and now it's going to be the, the underclassmen's job to carry on that. And uh, we need to do a good job as coaches recruiting and developing players. Uh, but I think uh, UTEP's turned the corner, and, and uh, I really feel the program's heading in the right direction. Uh, Jamil, how hard was it to get anything going on their defense? Um, you know, I think we shot ourselves in the foot because we didn't execute um, this game at all. You know, in the run game, they had too much penetration up front. And, uh, you know, I mean, that was pretty much the tail of the game. Uh, this is for Jamil also. Um, like I said earlier, you had some success in between the 30, but as you got closer to the end zone, you, you just couldn't, uh, couldn't get anything going. What, what was going on? Uh, we just get too relaxed in the, in the red zone. Um, you know, like I said, <clears throat> you know, it was a whole game. They got too much penetration. You know, when you don't have a run game, it's hard to pass on, on the team. And, you know, uh, even in the past game, when they were getting pressure, bringing stuff off the edge, we didn't pick it up. Um, some of that was on me for, you know, not getting the ball out on time. And, uh, I know I missed a couple of reads as far as you know pulling the ball when I should have or you know getting the ball in the hands quicker. So um, we just we just didn't play really well on offense. Gentlemen, uh, Bo Bagley, KTSM. Start with uh, Jamil and then Jimmy. Uh, do you guys feel like you laid a foundation that will withstand for future years and generations here at UTEP? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think we did. Uh, you know, just showing you know UTEP in the past. I know whenever I go back home, people you know don't really know who UTEP is, and uh, you know now they do, but. You know, like I said, I'm, just, you know, I, I wanted to win today. You know, it didn't really matter. You know, I mean, we, we definitely set the foundation, but we, we we really needed to win today. So. Uh, you know, it's been a, it's been great being part of this team, and uh, I feel there was a foundation set, and uh, it was great being part of it. But uh, I'm proud of the seniors for, uh, you know, taking me in as my first season here, and uh, I've never felt more part of the brotherhood before before I came here, and. Uh, I, I just look up to these guys. It's definitely, they laid something that I want to continue, and uh, I want to be a leader for this team. I want to try and strive off this. Coach, during that uh, that seven-minute drive, where you get the field goal uh, at the end. 
first eight plays were called runs. You wish there was maybe some type of more, uh, you know, mixing up in there with the pass, or was it just trying to shorten the game at that point? No, we weren't trying to shorten the game. We were trying to score, but uh, we wanted to get the ball in the perimeter some. You know, what they were giving us, you know, again, if we have run pass option reads and they give us the box, it's going to be a run. You got just as much chance of getting the yards on the run. So, uh, you know, we were going to be patient with that drive and try to conserve our timeouts. So, uh, you know, we would have one more drive. Unfortunately, we never uh, got to that point with our timeouts at the end. Uh, Jimmy and Coach Kugler, talk about uh, the way the defense played. I know it had to be frustrating when you just see that three up on the scoreboard the whole time. But just talk about how well you guys hung in. Well, I thought the defense competed hard all year, you know. And, uh, you know, I thought Coach Stoker and, and his staff did a great job. The kids played their hearts out, uh, you know. They had several short fields that they put out the fire today. Unfortunately, you know, they had the last touchdown, which makes it look a little worse than what it is. But I thought the defense was out there hitting and competing the entire day. Uh, you know, uh, we, we knew coming into this game that Utah State, you know, they made big plays. And I felt like we were playing good the whole game. Uh, we played solid. We had a few assignment errors, and we allowed a few of those big plays to happen. That's kind of what kept them alive. And I know that was our goal coming in. We were doing good. Just uh, there's just little mistakes here and there. Yeah, I have a question for Jimmy. Uh, still, and I know it's a few minutes after a, a loss of a bowl game, but when you look back on this season, you probably you probably haven't yet. When you look back on this season, you got three or four players all conference. You got academic all America with Wesley Miller. Sean Kluger's got a great shot at being coach of the year. Uh, the team defense set a bunch of personal records or school records this year. It's almost like you get to come back next year remembering the story that hasn't been finished. You know what I mean? Like there's still, you can be part of the group that there's still yeah. work to do. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, How yeah. do you approach that? I mean, once you're able to forget about today and going into next year. Oh, uh, you know, we just got to feed off of it. You know, they, they set this foundation and it's our job now to come back and work harder than we did, we ever have. And uh, we got to feed off of that. And that's what we're going to shoot and start working right away for the next season and make sure that, uh, you know, we continue striving and progressing. This is for Coach Kugler and, and Jamil. Just talk about the fan support. Uh, round about maybe, you know, 10,000, 8,000 fans coming here, making the drive after that late Arizona game last night. A lot of people on the road this morning. Talk about the fan support you guys got today. Our fans are outstanding. You know, uh, I think we filled up that whole side. They were vocal. Uh, they've been great all year. Uh, we fed off our fans in the Sun Bowl all year long, and uh, they really made it truly feel like a home game today. And uh, that's why after the game, the players went over there and showed their appreciation to the fans. Uh, we got the best fans in the world. I mean, it was incredible for me. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the whole season, I think they're, they're part of the reason that we were, you know, we were so successful in the season. Uh, I mean, they stayed the whole game, they're loud, and uh, you know, it was the same way today, and I, you know, I, I love my fans. Are you nuts? Thank you, guys.